Hey guys, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Pranita Reddy and in this video we will learn how to create schedules in IICS. The agenda of this video would be introduction to schedules, uh, usage on schedules in IICS and a quick demo on how to create schedules and associate those created schedules with the tasks like mapping tasks and task flows. Uh, we'll quickly go to the introduction. Basically we know why we use schedules. Schedules are used to run tasks, be it mapping task, synchronization tasks, task flows or any task at a specific time interval without any manual intervention. For example, if you would want to run a task uh, based on any frequency or based on any time, then you can automate this process without going and manually clicking on the run option on the UI. To create a schedule, user must log into IICS and navigate to administrator page. In the administrator page, there will be a schedules tab as shown in the screenshot here. Schedules can be created uh, based on the requirement like based on the repeat frequency. You can you also have an option to select the time zone in which the schedule should run. Once the schedule is created, you can associate the respective task with the schedule so that it runs accordingly and according to that particular time zone and time that is set. We will quickly go into a demo to see how to create a schedule. We first log into IICS. Once you log into IICS, go to administrator page. Here you will have a schedule tab. Here this will list all the schedules that are created. Just click on new schedule. This will give you an option to create a new schedule. Uh, we will just put it as test new schedule okay and here you see you can just give a description uh, in like your wish and here you have a start time for example i want to start it from tomorrow i can select that time that is 25th march when i select that time 25th march here this is the option to select the time here you can select the time i will select at three o'clock Okay, and here you have multiple time zones which you can select based on your requirement. Let for in this I let it be as IST. And here in does not repeat option, you have multiple options. Does not repeat is it is only scheduled once, that is whichever time you have given, it will only run at that time. Every n minutes you have an option to select how many for how many minutes it should run and, and how many uh, and on what, what days it should run, that is weekdays, weekends. You can also select the time range the start time and the end time and you can say for example I've started it on 25th March I can say it should run for an year that is 25th March again next year it should run every five minutes is what I can set and one more thing here you have multiple you can put it for hourly same like minutes but then you have daily option in daily you have to select it, it should be either every day or every weekday or based on the requirement you have one more is weekly you have i mean it, it should should the task that means should the schedule run all days of the week or only selected days of the week and etc bi-weekly is twice a week sorry bi-weekly is once in every two weeks next is monthly you can select monthly option and for example once now i've selected day anything based on your requirement select it repeat indefinitely is it will keep on running until you go and change the schedule manually or you go and st stop it. Okay, just this is test new schedule. Just go and click it on save. And this is how you create a new schedule. Now the schedule is created, but there is no task that is associated with the schedule. For that, what you need to do is go to a data integration page. Uh, for example, select take a task flow. Any task flow or any job you can take. For example, now I am taking yeah for example now I'll take this task flow for task flow you have you when once you hover you will get three dots where you can click you have an option schedule if you click on schedule you can just give any job name like this is testing job job name is not the schedule name job name is a name to identify the job job name is not a task name and a schedule name it is to identify the job that is running on the schedule but not the task name and here you can select the schedule that you have created the schedule that we have created is test new schedule test new schedule it should ideally come here 
see this is the, so whichever is created last will be at i mean the most recent creation will be at the bottom this does not follow any chronological order or the sorry this does not follow any alphabetical order it only follows that chronological order whichever is created free most frequently will be the last schedule so now you can just click on that schedule now this is selected it will show automatically it will pick up the start time next schedule run time and all that all you have to do is click on assign schedule to validate if the schedule is create i mean if the schedule is associated with the task flow or not what you can do is just hover over that three dots and click on the three dots again here you have an option to see scheduled jobs click on scheduled jobs now here whatever the job name you have given has come up so this is how you can uh, associate a schedule with a task flow for example now you want to delete that uh, schedule association with the task flow just click on this and click on delete option delete now this schedule is unassigned with the task flow in the same way you can select for any mapping task as well but one thing is for mapping tasks for example if i take this when you click on three dots you will not get an option to create a schedule what you can do is just click on that just click on that mapping task once you click on that mapping task you have an edit option click on the edit option go to runtime options in runtime options you have a schedule tab i am is i mean schedule drop down just click on the drop down here you have two options do not run on schedule and because we want this just click on schedule and here you can select the schedule name as i told the latest created schedule with the last will be the last showing schedule so just click on this one more option you have is you can create a new schedule directly from the mtt itself this will again navigate you to the same schedule page where you can create a schedule once if it's select if the schedule is already created you can just select it if if the schedule is not created you can directly click on new schedule and click on save that will be saved so this is how we create schedules in iics and this helps this basically helps in avoiding the manual intervention in executing the tasks so now once the schedule is associated the task keeps on running based on the schedule time that is set uh, i will provide the reference document link in the description below you can go through that product documentation to see if you have any further queries or if you have any further information you get it from there we would love to hear feedback from you so please reach us on supportvideos@informatica.com and tweet us at our twitter handle infosupport